Hey everyone, Lewis here for Pixel Surplus, and today we're going to learn how to edit logo templates in Adobe Illustrator. And if you stick around to the end, I'm also going to show you a few tips and tricks for how to get your logo looking great on your favorite mockups. Because frankly, who doesn't love seeing their new logo on a clean Photoshop mockup? The logo templates I'm going to be using today is called Free Vintage Label Kit. This vintage label kit comes with three gorgeous logos created by the talented Jeremy Vesey. Links to this logo template and to Pixel Surplus can be found in the description below. Once you've made your way to Pixel Surplus and downloaded the logo template, make sure to save it somewhere you remember. And before you open your Illustrator file, you need to click on the Read Me Before Opening document. This is gonna give us links to all of the fonts that we we'll use in today's logo templates. It might be a good idea to stop the video here and download those fonts before we continue on with our tutorial. Once you've got all those fonts downloaded, open up that Illustrator file and you should be greeted with three logos on three separate artboards. In this tutorial, I'm going to edit the Outfitters logo. So I'm gonna to head to the Layers panel and I'm gonna lock both the Harris and Stout logo. If you're following along at home and you like the style of the other two logos, that's not a problem. All of the skills and techniques that I'll show for the Outfitters logo can be carried across to the Stout and Harris logo as well. First, let's begin by creating a new artboard. You can do this by clicking in the open space, heading to properties, hitting edit artboard, and selecting the new artboard icon. Next, I'm gonna to head to the layers panel and I'm going to create a new layer. Then I'm going to head back to the Outfitters logo. I'm going to copy that, click on the new layer I just created and paste it onto my new artboard. It's always best to create a copy and then make changes and edits to the copy. So let's begin by talking about what we can edit for our logo template. I think a great place to start is by changing the text and the font to match the style of logo that you're looking for. My brand is going to be called Day One Denim. So by using the type tool or hitting T on your keyboard, I'm going to go in and change the title of my logo to Day One Denim. I'm also going to change the text of the MFG logo to D1D for day one denim. If you're watching at home, feel free to pause the video and change the text so that it matches your client's needs. Now that I've changed my text, I'm going to change my fonts. I'm going to select custom attire, day one denim, D1D and family owned and switch it from Cider House to Bourbon Grotesque. If you've changed your fonts, then it's likely that the scale and position of your text is gonna be all off. We're using these logo templates as a rough guide. So take some time and make sure the logo matches your and your client's desired needs. I'm a huge fan of using rulers when organizing and aligning elements of my logo. To access your rulers, hit Ctrl R on your keyboard and drag from either the left or the top of your screen down. I've positioned my rulers on the horizontal and vertical center points of the circle. Now I'm able to see where the middle is and maneuver my text so that it's aligned correctly. Feel free to pause the video here and come back to it once you've got everything just the way you like it. For my color palette, I'm going to be using a mixture of blue, gold, and beige. If you'd like to use this color palette as well, feel free to pause the video here and jot down the hex codes, or take a screenshot and use the eyedropper tool in Illustrator. So I'm actually gonna start by adding a background color. To do this, I'm going to hit M on my keyboard to access my rectangle tool, and then I'm going to draw a rectangle the size of my artboard and use the eyedropper tool to select my blue. Then I'm going to hit Control Shift Open Square Bracket to place it behind my logo. 
Now that I have my background color, I'm going to change the stroke on the circle. Select the circle, use the eyedropper tool to select my gold color. Then I'm going to flip from the solid to the stroke. You can do this by clicking here or hitting shift X on your keyboard. And finally, I'm going to increase the scale to 10 points. Now I'm going to change the color of my text. Whilst holding shift, I'm going to click on custom attire, day one denim, D1D and family owned. Then I'll hit use the eyedropper tool by hitting I on my keyboard and selecting my light beige color. I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard and select stitched by hand and crafted in the USA. Then I'm going to use the eyedropper tool and choose the gold color. Finally, whilst holding shift, I'm going to select both of the strokes next to the D1D and I'm going to use the eyedropper tool and select the gold circle. And there you have it. How to take one gorgeous logo template and change it to make something brand new. Now that we've got our gorgeous new logo, let's add it to a Photoshop mockup. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using free apparel tag and label mockups. This bundle comes with three mockups that are high quality and high resolution. And if you like what you see, there's also the option to download the premium 25 mockup bundle. Links to Pixel Surplus as well as this product can be found in the description below. So once you've downloaded your Photoshop mockup, let's make sure to save it somewhere safe. The mockup I'll be using today is called 08. If a different mockup catches your eye, feel free to use that one. The techniques I show today will carry across all three mockups. Once you open your Photoshop file, you should be greeted with a demo logo on your mockup. So let's begin by taking a look around the layers panel. As you can see, there's an adjustments layer as well as two different perspectives. We don't need to touch the adjustment layer, but you can decide on which perspective is going to work better for your logo. Once you've decided on a perspective, double click on that layer. And now you should see a whole new group of layers. The only layers that we need to focus on are replace this logo, as well as the three different effects. So now let's replace the demo logo with our own. Double click on the replace this logo layer. And now you should see the demo logo on a transparent background. We need to create a copy of our logo to paste into our mockup. So head back over to your Illustrator file and create a copy of your logo. Be sure not to include a background. Now head back to your Photoshop file and paste it on top of the demo logo. If you see a window come up that says paste as, choose smart object. Then we can keep our logo as a vector. Reduce the scale of your logo slightly and save this file by hitting Control S on your keyboard. Now head to the top of the Photoshop file and click on the tab that houses the mockup. If you've done this correctly, you should now see your logo on the Photoshop mockup. And finally, head to the layers panel and turn on the embroidered effects. Play around with these until you find a combination that works best for your logo. And there you have it, how to edit logo templates in Adobe Illustrator and how to add them to your favorite Photoshop mockups. Your clients are gonna be so impressed. And there's nothing more impressive than Pixel Surplus. Pixel Surplus is the home to three fonts, templates, textures, and of course, world-class mockups. Oh, and did I mention our font bundles? I'm talking premium fonts at crazy discounts. You guys need to check them out right now. Links to Pixel Surplus and today's products can be found in the description below. And whilst you're down there, why don't you hit the like, subscribe, and bell so you don't miss any of our future content, and type in the description what you might want to see next. 
Thanks and have a great day, everyone.